The Smith Fieldhouse no longer rocking, but it was for a while after another BYU sweep win. Home sweet home for the Cougars, 25-20, 25-9, 25-22. They handle the Pacific Tigers, the newcomers in the West Coast Conference. Alongside the All-American, Amy Gann, I'm Spencer Linton, and welcome to our exclusive post-game recap on BYU TV and BYUTVSports.com. The Cougars battled in the first set. Coach Olmstead said they were kind of on cruise control, but boy, did they put it in motion in the second set. And the reason the Cougars are so difficult to stop is they start with a great serve, and so they put teams on the defensive with their incredible serving, and then their defense is just as great. A big block and incredible floor defense means BYU very, very tough to beat. The Cougars move to 3-0 and in conference, Pacific falling to 2-2. Two and two. They are on top of the standings. And thanks, at least in part, to Alexa Gray. More of the same from the sophomore sensation out of Canada. And Alexa Gray is so good in system, but it's her out-of-system kills that really help the Cougars. When the ball isn't perfect, she can still put it down. Tambor Haddock complimenting Gray's play tonight. Another solid performance from number 15. And not only offensively, but defensively as well. 12 big digs for the outside hitter. The junior outside hitter had to be impressed with the youngster, Whitney Young, the freshman from Idaho. Didn't play a ton, but in the third set provided a needed spark. It was neck and neck in that third set when Whitney Young checked in and made an immediate impact offensively and in the blocking lane. Three kills for Whitney Young on three attempts. BYU with 42 kills as a team. Their hit percentage well above Pacific. And the blocks, again, the team defense was just incredible for BYU. They lead the West Coast Conference in blocks per set. Now we go to Andy Boyce standing by with our BYU alumni game changer, Tamber Haddock. Tamber, it went well tonight. What, what went so well for you guys tonight? Um, I think we just needed to keep the pressure on them and not limit our errors. We gave up some points with our errors at times, but just keep the pressure on them and serve them aggressive. Now you had a lot of digs. You're typically, you know, big swing, but, but tell us about your digs tonight. Um, you know, I just wanted to create opportunities for my team and we really talked about, we scouted them well and knew kind of knew what shots they were gonna hit. So um, preparation was all coaches and just go out and do it. Now you had a tough one on Thursday night. You bounced back. What did coach tell you for tonight? Uh, just not to let up ever. Don't take anyone lightly because anyone can be anyone. and. We want to protect our home court, so we don't want to take anybody lightly. Now you've been a very good addition to BYU's team. How how's your experience been so far? I love it. It's a dream come true. You know, I love playing here. I love the team. I love the coaches, and it's been a real blessing to be here. Thanks for taking the time. Good luck. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, Andy Boyce, and congratulations to Tamber Haddock. The BYU Cougars have won 18 in a row here on Elaine Michaelis Court in the Smithfield House. Six straight overall after a slow start to the season. They've really taken things uh, to a new level. They have, but they have to leave the comforts of home next week as they face a tough road match going to play at Pepperdine and Loyola Marymount. So can the Cougars do it on the road will be the next big challenge. The Cougars going west as they take their game on the road, and you look at the updated West Coast Conference standings, BYU alone on top with a record of 3-0. They are 10-3 overall. Start of the week just outside the top 25. Wouldn't be surprised to see them crack back in after their recent success. Definitely. I think they worked their way back in in the West Coast Conference, an incredible conference to be in. So as BYU just tries to win those conference matches, that helps their stock in making it to the NCAA tournament. Yeah, surprisingly, you see eighth-ranked San Diego at 1-2 and two in conference play after a loss to St. Mary's on Saturday. Here at the Smith Fieldhouse, it's all about BYU, a sweep winner. They're on top in the WCC. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you next time.